Hello everyone, this is Stationeers. My name is Pestilence and I'm here to share my gifts with you. Today's gift is the basic Mark I manual airlock. I will be doing the automatic airlock later on, either in this episode or the next episode, depending on how long this takes. So, in order to get the basic Mark I airlock you need to lay out your floor like this so that you can get power to your two power doors as you can see here they work but right now I have no pressure in there because it's just easier that way right now I will show you pressurizing them later this is the outer portion of the inner wall but I didn't put a panel on it so that we can see everything that's going on here and believe me, there is a lot going on there. The auto lathe is going to be very important moving on in this episode. You will see that later. So, that being said, let's get stuck into it here. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is that whenever you decide uh, whatever uh, wall is going to be your paneled wall here, you're just going to going to find your active vent and you're going to put one here but you can't use it it's very important you'll blow things up so we're just going to we're going to put that up there but we're going to ignore it we're going to pretend it doesn't work and then we're going to put up our control center here with the advanced airlock uh, circuit board in it and then we are going to go ahead and put the glass over the top of it we're just going to go ahead and turn that on. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, put in our programming uh, card right there. And believe it or not, that we're almost done for this first part. We're going to take our, our sensor here. You're going to find a daylight sensor. You're going to roll your mouse wheel here a couple times. Find the gas sensor, rotate it so that it hooks up to the correct cable circuit, and go ahead and put that in place. Now, as you can see here, this is obviously not going to hold any pressure without that uh, inner panel on, so we're just going to go ahead and put that on. So you can all see that this the power comes in here from the power control board, comes up here hits the active vent one and then it's going to hit the the uh, circuit controller and the sensor now if you notice I have another spot right here but we're not done yet we're going to do a little bit of future proofing here okay I'm going to take our gas pipes that I've painted white because white is for oxygen and we're going to lay them out like this and then with a T-junction here and we're going to go back to our straight line and put it in here and here. And because of how I have uh, uh, put a panel right there next to my Power base, and I want the eventual vent to be into the base just a little bit at least. We're going to want it out here. Now, again, it's very important. Do not power this on. This right here. That's a no-no because there's nowhere for the gas to go and you will blow out your base eventually. So, yeah, don't do not do that. Ah, good, my, my battery is fully charged. I'm glad to see that. So, whenever this comes on, this is going to be your active vent. And we're just going to label this so we know which, which one is which. And we're, we're done with the tubes right now we are building towards the automatic airlock so since we're building towards the automatic airlock I've gone ahead and uh, labeled the outer door glass door outer and the inner door glass door inner we're gonna uh, name this vent right here active vent one and the second vent, which will be going right here, will be active vent two. Now, using my uh, jetpack here, 
Uh, I've also went ahead and put my external pressure to zero, which you can do here. Cancel, go to the other, there we go. External pressure to zero and internal pressure to 75. It's actually gonna be 100, but you know, 75, you'll, you'll be fine. Whenever you uh, program this, you go, you, sh you start off by shutting the doors. So we're gonna shut both doors now. And we're gonna come over here and we're gonna go a glass door inner glass door outer see how they're locked then gas sensor then vent and when we pull the card notice how it still has an error because this is no longer two-way so go ahead and put your card back in it undo everything you s that I just showed you and you're gonna run this this uh, door manually. Yeah, I know, I know. It it doesn't work yet. Every, we have all the pieces, but this is as far as you can get with the parts that you got from the lander. Now, I know what you're thinking, pestilence. How are we gonna get the rest of the parts? I'll show you coming up next, and it's gonna involve auto lathe and doing a little bit of mining <sighs> yeah here look for part two and I'll show you how to make this airlock automatic but as of right now we have all the framework but do not do not do not use this active vent because you're gonna put the pressure into this pipe. And even though this pipe just ends, it's it doesn't have a vent, it's capped. So you're gonna build pressure, it's gonna explode, and you're gonna blow things up. Okay? So for right now, run your your uh, vent, your airlock manually. And by running it manually, you'll you'll lose air out the, the airlock every time you come in and out. But you'll have an airlock. You'll be able to come in here and put your base together. Until next time, everyone, stay safe out there, Stationeers. Hello, everyone. Today, we are playing Stationeers. My name is Pestilence, and I am here to share my gifts with you. Today's gift is the advanced airlock for stationers. The thing that we all love to hate. And the newest iteration requires not one, but two active air vents. And a passive air vent, which I have inside. Now, as you guys can see, I'm on the moon. And in the lander, you only get one active air vent and no passive air vents. You don't get any other types of pressure vessels either. And to show you that I have the airlock working, we're just gonna go ahead and activate it real quick. The outer door is shut. The pressure is going to come up and build. Takes a little while because reasons. And then as soon as the pressure gets to 75 kilopascals, which is where I've set it at, the inner door will open and the uh, extra pressure on the inside will open up. Now this passive air vent and the extra active air vent here at the pipe bender. You can see some of the things I've been messing around with see if I can get it to work better but this this is the easiest one so with these uh, hydraulic pipe bender being made from the auto lathe you can get the active airlock to work for you and it's actually quite simple here let me show you how it's done let me go ahead and throw the let me get closer so I can actually do it 
Let me throw that uh, disc in here. Hit my jet so you can see how this has worked. I've actually numbered everything for you. So whenever you make these uh, go from grayed out to green, you need to go one active door, or one outer door, two inner door, three gas vent, four active vent, and then the number five active vent. This is the number four, it goes outside. And this is the number five, it goes inside. That only matters though, if you aren't on the moon or Mars where the outside pressure is pretty much zero. External uh, pressure, as you can see, I've set to zero. Internal pressure, I've set to 75 kilopascals so that uh, whenever my 100 kilopascal base is opened up, I do get that nice little blast of cool air in the face. Love it. So now that I've, I've uh, shown you this, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and show you that this, uh, this vent here comes right over to the corner here. Now, because we're on the moon and we are taking the pressure from inside the airlock and putting it back inside of our pressure hull or pressure vessel, and we are going to also pull from there to put the, the air in here, I just teed it off. I just teed it off. But in an atmosphere that's like really hot or really cold outside, instead of teeing this off right here, you're going to run your, your inside active vent to pull from and vent inside, and your outside active vent to pull from and vent to the outside. It's that really simple. Now remember, just like the doors, you do it from outside in. Okay, so whenever you're programming this, it's outer door, inner door, sensor, outer vent, inner vent. It's that simple. But since we're on the moon or if you're on Mars, you can tee those puppies off and keep your atmosphere where you want it. All right, it's that simple. Guys, if you really like what I do here, hit that like button, or if you really truly love what I do here today, hit that subscribe button. It costs you nothing, and as we all know, nothing is a great price. And if you want to continue getting more information about stationers right here at this channel, don't forget to ring that bell notification so you get notifications as soon as I drop more videos. Until next time, stay safe out there, stationers.